hi welcome now I am going to show you how to use the rank function in Excel okay in our case what I have here as an example athletes and uh, their uh, respective uh, time taken on a particular track okay so the my objective is uh, rank each athlete what is the rank in the, in the position rank of the position in their uh, in the running on the on a particular track using based on the uh, time taken by them okay so uh, what i can do is i can do it this one in manual method how to do that in manual method i just show you here copy and paste the names okay then uh, what i have it uh, after pasting i just uh, uh, sort them according to the time okay and uh, time supposed to be from smallest to largest since uh, the least time taken by athlete is supposed to be the uh, least rank must be given the least rank but he comes in the uh, higher uh, first position or uh, second position the least is the the topmost position here okay now uh, uh, you see here Helen has taken 18 uh, seconds to finish the track and uh, she is the number one okay two three and so on okay uh, since it is total athletes are uh, 10 the tenth position is Camila who has taken more number of seconds to finish the track which is uh, 99 seconds okay so this way you can do it manually but uh, here uh, every time you need to change uh, you, you need to sort and see what is the rank if you using uh, the data is keep changing then your rank also keeps changing okay and if it is very it is the manual method you can use it okay using a sort okay you can say it is sort that sort method okay now here uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a rank okay uh, what is the rank function and how it is uh, working okay rank function is uh, helping us to find a rank for a particular uh, number in a set of numbers okay or in other words uh, rank function is used to find a particular uh, uh, numbers position in a set of numbers okay for in this case uh, our number is the time taken okay oh, so for uh, we can find uh, each uh, if you define uh, this the set of uh, numbers that means it's all the athletes uh, uh, time taken here and you want to find a particular athletes uh, position in the set of all the numbers okay so uh, i just explain here put a rank so i'm trying to find a rank of allen uh, rank of the first athletes okay rank uh, what is the number you want to find uh, whose position you want to find okay the time taken by allen is uh, 90 so i want to find the position of 90 in a set of all this time taken okay second is the reference which is the full set of uh, numbers and uh, comma i want to find whether uh, ascending order or descending order obviously it is the uh, running track the race track then it is supposed to be the uh, ascending order okay the list comes first okay so and uh, so you see the 90 is the ninth position which is obviously here Alan is taken 90 seconds and he came in the ninth position okay before that well, this uh, range in the rank function range it is I am usually use instead of using the array names I usually uh, okay I just make it here 
um, you can see here the array name is b2 to b11 which is nothing but the whole set of um, all the threads uh, time take and set okay so instead uh, what you can do is you just uh, define a name here okay for b2 to b11 so that it will be more readable or uh, when you come to see it in the next time okay how to do that okay for, for first time uh, and also when you move this ship the formula to next position what happens uh, this 35 comes for fifth position but uh, we don't know whether it's a correct way of shifting because you see the first one our full set is from the b2 to b11 okay here it comes to b3 to b12 okay it also shifting the uh, set of uh, numbers here so what i'm going to do is i just uh, want to rewrite the formula and uh, make it as b22 b11 so even though you shift the formula you need to rewrite the formula here because it's also shifting the uh, the the given range okay the reference set okay to avoid this problem what you can do is either you can use uh, uh, you might have watched my previous videos i have told about relative and uh, absolute reference of the formulas okay um, you can use dollar sign here to tell the excel when i ship the formula you don't ship uh, don't ship the range you only ship the push uh, whose position i want to find okay that one you can make it using dollar b dollar two colon dollar eleven dollar uh, dollar b dollar eleven okay this one i can show you for uh, example dollar b so this way you can make a formula uh, to uh, absolute position reference okay now you I made it dollar two dollar uh, dollar b dollar two dollar b and dollar eleven. You see now it is five because when you shift, it is not shifting the range. Okay, this one also when you shift, it is not uh, shifting the range. This way you can uh, uh, make any formula to absolute 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 form so that it won't shift. You will fix that uh, range. Okay, but only um, disadvantage in this is it's not more readable. Okay, we can this one become dollar b dollar two all this. When you see a formula first time, you may not able to uh, read properly, is especially when the formula is very lengthy. So what uh, my suggestion is, I just uh, go here. First, uh, what I'm going to do is I just uh, define this one as. Uh, these are all things are uh, ex extra things which uh, we can uh, we 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 use it on the when you 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 are performing some tasks or formulas in Excel. But uh, these are all things are um, additional tips given in my videos. Okay, what you can do is uh, you put a name for this uh, range, define a name for this range which is time taken or time in seconds okay time in seconds okay so this this range is now called the time in seconds so when you come to the formula you have put uh, b2 time plus tm time automatically it shows the the name of the ranges also which we already uh, defined or the predefined uh, names time taken in second automatically it is the range come on and uh, put uh, whether it is ascending order or descending order and uh, now it comes uh, nine and uh, you can uh, this one you can simply auto complete uh, auto fill so that uh, we know that every formula we are using the time in second we are not modifying anything we are just uh, using it and uh, excel also it's not shifting the 
the push uh, this uh, the range uh, uh, range set to positions instead it's just using the time second and uh, this time second is fixed fixed range okay now you see whether uh, uh, ln is first position based on rank uh, based on the time taken and uh, robert is the second position which is the same result which we have got it here okay um, so this way you can use the rank function to rank uh, any set of uh, uh, numbers and uh, to find whose position uh, what is their position in the set okay of my video is helpful to you and uh, if you like my videos and you uh, please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel as well as give a like okay have a good day